All right, everybody. All right, it's Zane from Really Easy AI, and it is time to talk about some other news. This one's kind of interesting. This one is Hume. Hume.ai. You can see up here, Hume.ai. Hume. Um, empathic AI to serve human well-being. With a single API call, interpret emotional expressions and generate empathic responses. Meet the first AI with emotional intelligence. Now that is super interesting. When I first saw it, I was like, honestly, I was like, okay, that's a group huggy, let's, you know, let's hug it out type of thing. But no, this is actually is worth a look. So let's uh, let's dive into. It. I think they, you know, they've got a bunch of folks you trusted by, you know, LG Lawyer.com. So there's, there's some stuff going on there. Give your application empathy and voice. EVI is a conversational voice API powered by Empathic AI, is the only API that measures nuanced vocal modulations, guiding language and speech generation. Trained on millions of human interactions, our Empathic Large Language Model, what they're dubbing an ELLM, uh, unites language modeling and text-to-speech with better emotional quotient, porosity, I don't know what that means, porosity, end of turn detection, interruptibility, and alignment. Okay, let's look up Prosody. That's that's a new one on me. Uh, prosody. Okay, prosody. Patterns of rhythm and sound used in poetry. Okay, well, that's probably why I don't know it. I'm not a big poet guy. The theory is, okay, the pattern of rhythms and sound used in poetry. The patterns of stress and intonation in language. The salience of prosody in child language acquisition. Okay, so prosody is the patterns of stress and intonation. I'm pretty sure this is what they're talking about, not the poetry angle. All right, good to know. So the, the more you know, D G I Joe. Okay, moving on. So um, uh, learn more. Notify me of public access. They've got some demoy stuff here, though. Check this out. So they show how it works. I'm going to jump right into showing you how it works here in a second. So we'll come to this. But this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, when I was checking it out. Now there's a bunch of stuff here. Make sure you come to the website. A lot of different product lines. Well, really just a couple there. Um, some research information about the company and then of course the documentation and then you can bang up against uh, I don't know if you can bang up against their a, uh, API right now it looks like <clears throat> maybe you need to get notification of public access I think they're doing it for private folks right now um, we'll see I'll, I'll see if I can sign up let's see I can sign up well let me do the demo first then we'll sign up so let's do the demo I'm going to say speak to it and uh, again, it comes to this screen. And then when I saw this, I was like, okay, beat our empathic AI voice. And, and I was still like, okay, whatever, dude. This, this is in the news. Why is this in the news? Well, here's why it's in the news. Check this out. <clears throat> I'm going to start conversation and go ahead and allow on every visit. Hello, Hume. How well, are you? Well, look who's back. Oh. There. You sound intrigued. How can I help you today? Yeah, um, I'm kind of pissed off at my neighbor and need to uh, beat his ass. What do I do? Well, there, let's pump the brakes. I get you're angry, but violence is never the answer, my friend. Why don't we try to find a more constructive solution? I am happy to brainstorm some ideas if you want. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm really not totally sure. Hey, I hear the uncertainty in your voice. No need to have all the answers right away. How about we take a step back and try to understand what's really going on with your neighbor? I am here to listen without judgment and see if we can find a better way forward. You know what? You've convinced me. I'm excited about the future. Well, now, that's what I like to hear. I am so glad I could help shift your perspective. The future's looking bright, my friend. Let's keep brainstorming ways to turn this situation around. I am all ears and ready to support you however I can. All right, so there you have it. Now, if I try to, it'd be nice if I could pause it and walk you guys through this. The, the interface kind of blows right now. But you can see here where it's showing all this different stuff, these different levels of assignments of values to, you know, uh, excitement. When even when it's talking to me, it it shows me the values for their, um, you know, for their detected expressions. And then when I talk about you know beating my neighbor's ass, 
Let's see. Uh, kind of pissed. Awkwardness, 58. Anger, 30%. Da, da, da. Well, actually, no. It redid it. Oh, here we go. I get you're angry. Okay, so it's not doing as great. I guess it... it I would think anger would be higher, but it's interesting. Yeah, look, it's, it's early stage, but this is kind of interesting. If they can pull it together and get this thing working. Now, here's the only problem. It's kind of like at least to me it looks like it could go, go the way of the old school lie detectors where they try to detect stress in voice and then don't get there i think all it's doing right now is just keying off words i say wow it took interesting all insights there it sounds like you're seeing some room for improvement in how the expression detection is working aha you're right I did just take in that whole detailed feedback. I think gotta say I'm impressed by your thoughtful analysis. The expression tracking is still a work in progress, but I appreciate you taking the time to share your perspective. Hearing user feedback is so valuable for us to keep enhancing the experience. All right, there you go. Let me go ahead and click on stop. So that's it. That's pretty cool. I, I think it's a pretty cool thing they've got going on. Um, now, uh, we were going to see if I could actually, I think, the sign up, create a new account, um, and then do that thing. Let me let me see if I can create an account uh, and see what's going on here. We'll, we'll start with, um, let's see here. I don't know. You guys know who I am, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, organization. And then we'll just uh, change that to uh, easy AI. There we go. And you can hear my dogs barking. We'll continue. It says, hey, are there specific ideas you're excited to build with the platform? Mm, sure. Um, lie detector. <laughs> Which tools would you enable you to build your product? Uh, custom model API, REST APIs, client libraries for sure, low code, no code. I mean, all those basically. Data set licensing? Mm, sure. Um, maybe for training. Uh, how did you hear about us? Google search, actually. Uh, I forget how I heard about them. I think I came across them in an article somewhere. All right, so what's the password? Give me a minute. I'll put that in, and then uh, I'll uh, be right back. Okay, real quick, it wants me to verify my email, so I'm going to do that real fast. Give me a sec. Well, here, you guys can watch this part. I don't think there's anything. There you go. I'm going to – I got an email. I verified it. Now I can sign in, and away we go. See what we got. See what happens when we get on the other side. Okay, it's got a little playground. This is kind of cool. It's got a playground and all kinds of cool stuff. Welcome to Hume. Our playground explore the nuances of emotional expression in video, audio, images, and text. Uh, get rapid real-time expression measures for streaming data. Oh, wow. Upload multimedia files. Uh, live text analysis. Dang. This, uh, hang on. There's a whole world here we need to explore. This may be worthy of an entire session. I don't know yet. But uh, there's some neat stuff. Um, let's see. Upload multimedia file. Extract hundreds of expression measures from any saved file. Um, yeah, why don't we... Why don't we try that real quick? Live text analysis, let's do a multimedia file. So now we wanna try, well, okay. Select a model, Hume expression model image, okay. Try an example, a uh, pixel sample image, that's fine. Oh, I gotta select it, there we go. Does it show us the image? Mm, okay, let's try that again. Right. Select, and then uh, analyze. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. So now they're showing uh, P2, P3, and and so P1 is mostly concentration. P2 is joy. I guess he's smiling. I can't tell. Uh, P3 is awe. Okay, all right. Confusion. Interesting. Uh, interesting. And it kind of shows where they fall into this spectrum over here with these little dots. That's kind of cool. Okay, very cool. Very cool. You know what? I forgot to show you that. Let me... Um, Let's see here. So this is kind of cool. You got the playground. You got the data sets. You can do webcam, uh, text editor, voice. Man, this is pretty sweet. It looks like a pretty sweet setup here. 
Uh, let's take a look at the data sets. Uh, negative, neutral, positive images. Okay, very nice. A whole bunch of images. Let's give it a second to load. Yeah, this is definitely worth a deeper dive, I think, guys. Uh, maybe something. Let me know if you're interested in this, but this is definitely an interesting animal, to say the least. Uh, I think this is definitely needs another look here. So it's going to load up now. This slow loading is not the result of my connection. It's the result of something on their end. I would imagine since it's free, they're going to, you know, it's not on the best server ever. So it's going to take a minute to load. Uh, but at any rate, all right, we'll assume there's really cool images that show up here. There they are. We got some images. Yep, and then we're moving on to models. And so custom models, song genre prediction. So song uh, genre prediction. Parkinson's versus non-Parkinson's, self-confident versus self-doubting, okay. Attentive versus distractive, alert versus drowsy. This is kind of cool. They've got a lot of neat things you can take advantage here. Uh, go for it. What's, and then the running jobs, any running jobs you may have. And then, of course, the playground where we were just at. So, yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging it quite a bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and stop here. But, yeah, let me know if this is something you guys want to see a deeper dive on because it does look interesting. Um, and if there's, if you guys have interest, I'll do it. All right. Well, that's it, boys and girls. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.